click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos thank you Assalamu alaikum friends, this is Sami and you are watching Seoul Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends, today my topic is too much important for all Seoul Engineers and the topic is that what is the compressive strength of concrete from 7 days to 28 days. So it's too much important for all. So if you have any question about this video, you must comment, I will reply your answer. And if you need Seoul Engineering notes, article, etc, new information, so you are able to visit my website www.seoulglobal.com. But like this video and subscribe this channel. Let's start. So first of all, I will tell you, when you want to make construction or uh, any project in civil engineering, uh, so first of all, we have to do the compressive strength of the concrete. Okay? What is the compressive strength of the concrete in 7 days, in 28 days, etc. So for that, we have to take the concrete cube. Okay? Just sample. So uh, the dimension or uh, the size of that cube must be for the compression for the compressive strength okay if you want to find out the compressive strength of the concrete and compression machine so we have to make cube okay concrete cube which size will be so this is the concrete cube right so this is the concrete cube right Which size is 150 mm and 150 mm. You can also say 15 centimeter and 15 centimeter. Okay, so this is the size of cube by which we have to do test and compression machine. Then you will be able to find out the compressive strength of concrete in 7 days, in 28 days, etc. And the compressive strength is too much necessary for all the construction work. Because we have a different grade of concrete and we using the different grade of concrete in building construction. So therefore, before starting the construction work, we have to do the compressive strength of concrete. This part. So first of all, grade of concrete. So we have a different grade of concrete, okay? So if I say M10, M15, M20, M25, M30, and M35, and uh, M40, and M45. So these are grade of concrete. But I have already uh, have a lecture about grade of concrete. If you don't know about grade of concrete, so you are able uh, to watch my videos, and the link is in, in the description. That what is grade of concrete. Then you will be able to know what is grade of concrete. But I have just discussed with you, doesn't matter. Okay, so what is M and grade of concrete? M mean max. And what is number? Okay, max. So M stands for stands for max, right? And number stands for, or we can say number. So numbers 10, uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, uh, 35, 40, 45, etc. Okay, so number is the compressive strength of concrete. In Newton per mm square. So number, so 15, if I say 10, if I say 15, if I say uh, 20, etc. So number is the compressive strength of concrete and Newton per mm square. And Newton per mm square, but maybe in 28 days. Okay, when we take the concrete cube and we do the test and compression machine, and this which, uh, which size is 150 mm and 150 mm, then it will give us, if I say M10 M squares mean that 10 Newton per mm square will be the compressive strength of the concrete in 28 days, right? So, the cube must be vibrate. It must be vibrate and curing, right? So, after that we will be able to do the test, and after that, after 28 days, it will give us different numbers, Newton per mm square, and 28 days, and 28 days, or after 28 days, right? 
So this is a simple definition for the grade of concrete. So we have different grade of concrete. Now, uh, compressive strength, or we can say uh, minimum compressive strength of concrete in seven days. In, uh, in concrete, Newton per unit square in seven days, right? And maximum compressive strength of concrete in Newton per mm square after 48 days. So, if uh, your cube is ready and you want to test compressive strength of the concrete and compression machine, so what will be the strength of M10 grade of concrete in 7 days in Newton per mm sphere after 7 days if you want to do the compressive strength of the concrete and compression machine. So, so now what will be the compressive strength of M10 grade of concrete after 7 days in Newton per mm square. So for that we have a 7 Newton per mm square. 7 Newton per mm square after 7 days. Okay, when you do the compressive strength of concrete. But the, the concrete cube must be vibrate, fully vibrate. Okay, and for M15 we have a 10 Newton per mm square. The minimum compressive strength of concrete in Newton per mm square and after 7 days. And for M20, we have a 13.5 Newton per mm square, right? And for M20, after 20, after 7 days, we have a, uh, yes, 13.5. So uh, for M25, we have a 17 Newton per mm square. And for M30, we have a, uh, we have a 20 Newton per mm square. After Seven days. Remember, keep in your mind this point. And for M35, we have a 23. Yes, for M35. M35, 23.5 million per inch square. And for 40, we have a 27 Newton per mm square. And for M45, we have a 30 Newton per inch square. So these are the compressive strength of concrete after 7 days. But what will be the maximum compressive strength of concrete in Newton per mm square after 28 days? So I have already discussed with you what is grade of concrete. So in grade of concrete, it means that M10. So M10, so this is the maximum compressive strength of the concrete R. So it means that 10 Newton per mm square is the compressive strength of the concrete after 28 days. I have already discussed with you. Okay, and after 28 days, the maximum compressive strength of the concrete in Newton per mm square is 15. Okay, for 15 Newton per mm square. So already 10 will be 10. Okay, so 10 Newton per mm square after 28 days. So 15 Newton per mm square after 28 days. And 20 Newton per mm square after 28 days. 25 Newton per mm square after 28 days. And 30 Newton per mm square. After 28 days and 35 Newton per mm square and 40, uh, 40 Newton per mm square and 45 Newton per mm square. So these are the strength of concrete from 7 days to 28 days. So uh, remember keep in your mind this point that every engineer must be know all these points because uh, uh, it should be learned by every civil engineer and this is an important topic for today and if you need these kind of articles new information about civil engineering so you are able to visit my website www.civilglobal.com civilglobal.com right dot com so it's sufficient for today all the best take care bye